So in this presentation, I'm going to be talking about um, three types of commu communicating, general communication skills, interpersonal skills, and communication in writing, and also potential barriers to communication. First, uh, general communication skill is the ability to overcome cultural differences. Like, if there's a different customs, like bowing instead of um, Instead of shaking hands, you should um, show respect or people might get offended. So you should um, use these customs. And uh, you should also talk clearly so the other person can hear you clearly. Another general communication skill is adapting your voice to engage the audience. So they can hear you clearly and it, they also engage. So you're not talking with a monotone voice all the time. You're changing your voice. So engaging the audience. Next one is accuracy what you're saying. Don't use words like don't, use do not so it can be heard more clearly by the audience and you're not making mistakes when you're talking. Another general communication skill is engaging the audience. You can do this by asking questions or allowing questions to be asked here so so you don't so people understand what you're saying and also people don't become bored and distracted and start talking. Another way, another way is to um, keep people alert by, uh, by talking clearly so they don't become uninterested in what you're saying. Interpersonal skills is communication that's personal to you, like it could be sign language to people who can't hear or lip reading. First one, is the um, audience is to nod, to nod so they understand what you're saying and to, so that it shows that they're engaged. And another one is lip reading, so deaf people can use lip reading to hear, to be able to hear, uh, understand what you're saying when you're talking. Because without that, they won't be able to understand what you're talking about. They can read your lips and they can know what you're saying. Positive language is standing up straight, not with your hands in your pockets. Or it's also to, um, if you're listening to someone talking, to be engaged, not slouch, sitting in a slouch position. And, and when you're talking, it's also to not use a monotone voice, use a, a voice that changes up and down, so they're able, um, they're able to be engaged more by what you say. Negative language is the opposite of this. It's where you don't present effectively so by, like, use, like I said, using a monotone voice or just not standing up straight or moving around. And if you're listening, negative language can just be talking to the person next to you or, not, or just daydreaming and not listening to what people are saying. Next, I've got communication in writing. This can be important if, uh, to, if you're talking to someone higher up, such as your boss or in an interview. Right? So it's important to be accurate with grammar and um, not use words that aren't suitable, like using um, slang such as LOL in suitable in a formal environment. It's good to use um, proper words. And it's also important to spell words correctly and people know what you're listening what you said trying to say. So if uh, for example you're writing an email, you should use spell check and proofread it to to make sure what you're saying is accurate and that the person will be able to understand what you're saying. You can also use emojis such as smiley faces or like a thumbs up, but this won't be suitable in a formal environment only when you're talking to your friends. So next I've got potential barriers. First one would be like either cultural differences or a different language. If someone's talking in a different language to you, you're not going to be able to understand what they're saying. So it's important that people obviously use the same language and people who have a different accent talk clearly so people, the audience can clearly understand what they're saying. And an another potential barrier would be background noise. Like if that fan over there were making a lot of noise, the audience might not be able to hear me. So then, then they might not understand what I'm saying, so that might affect the presentation. 
And then another barrier will be if people are deaf, because then they can't obviously see, hear what I'm saying, so they're not going to be able to understand my presentation. So, so next I've got I can overcome potential barriers. To overcome um, cultural differences, it's good to uh, speak clearly so people can hear what you're saying or just use the same language as the audience, obviously. So this, uh, to overcome background noise, an example, like I said, that fan, what you could do is turn the fan off or move away from it and then people can hear what you're trying to say. Or if there's an open window and there's traffic coming through it, you just close the window and then there's no background noise coming through. And to overcome a problem of poor hearing, you can use sign language in your presentation, or the deaf people can just lip read what you are saying, and then they'll be able to understand what you're saying. And that's about it for my presentation, I think.